So my neighbors can come home and here it is all installed. You can see the packs underneath here are very, very securely uh, attached to the inside of the wheel well here. And uh, we have a reasonable bit of um, crush clearance there, if you like, uh, in the event of being rear-ended before the batteries get impacted. And the rest of the pack is back in the 48 cell position. It's all wired up, uh, the main switch is on. Um, the only thing that's not connected uh, is the um, DC to DC converter. Um, because that is too high a, a voltage for the stock DC. So I have the Meanwell PSU here. This is the only thing that needs to be uh, fitted now. And then we'll uh, be ready for a road test. But it does actually start and run, so I'll just show you that. Obviously I've got no 12 volt charging, so I can't do this for very long. I will just start it up. So we have the IMA light on for the DC to DC converter. Uh, not been connected, but you can see there we've got plenty of uh, bars, etc. It's all got the VCM interceptor. And we've got the CAN bus working here. In fact, I'm just going to restart this. And, uh, clean the codes. Skip that. So we get to the main screen. You can hear it's titting over. And then we've got the areas block screens for the pack etc. You can see where the pack voltage is and that's the sort of main screen if you like. So now I've got IMA CNC here and I shall command a bit of assist. You can see it's flying up. So uh, very uh, fast. So we'll see, basically, once we get the DC to DC converter installed, how it performs on the um, on the road. May need to make a few minor adjustments. Uh, I'll check on the IMA codes, etc. If any appear during driving, once I've got the DC to DC sorted out, and then we'll go from there. So as you can see, it's installed and starts on the IMA and the system regen. Oh, in fact, I've installed it. Just stored it there. The system regen are working.